All right, welcome back to another video. We're back out here on the property, officially back in the Adirondacks, and today's goal is to start getting set up for the summer. I've got a road, we've got the shop, but I don't have anywhere to park my bus. So I chose this location right here as our new landing pad. It is perfect. Just has a whole bunch of trees in the way. Oakley, hey, did you jump in a puddle already? Come on, get your muddy butt in here. So the goal is we're gonna grab the excavator. Hopefully it's got fuel in it because I don't remember how we left it in the fall. I have a feeling it's probably empty because I'm pretty known for that. I think the battery might be dead and we might be jump starting this puppy. I think that's very true. Man, this day just got so much harder. Well, that was almost a mistake. I looked at the wiring and realized that the excavator is 24 volts. So car battery is not gonna work. Uh, luckily, I do have a 24 volt charger. We're gonna just grab the charger, a long extension cord. Yeah, plug this guy in. Should be able to put in about 30 amps. It might take a bit longer than I want to, but. All right, got the charger on. We should at least see. Hey, where are you going, wandering soul? She's already got herself in a mud puddle twice. Okay, so things turn on. That's my seat. All right, we got one spot cleared. I guess we could call it for now. It's just so muddy. The plan is, is like, pull it straight in, pull it straight in, pull it straight in. It gave us about, I don't know, three spots to park for now. That will do for the summer. We don't need a crazy amount. Oakley's doing great in the excavator. How do you feel about the excavator? I gotta move all this stuff. And then hopefully, like I said, we got like from here to there, cleared. Okay, well, we got a pretty big pad area made. I'm gonna guess from where the road is up there, the back line is probably at least 45 feet, which means we can fit like Navi, Rachel's wagon, probably want a spot for someone else to come visit if they come visit. I think I gotta give it a day or two with some good sun on it to get some of this water out of the ground because there is some good clay base in certain areas and I gotta kind of see how it dries up a bit. Maybe divert some of the water that's coming out into the sides. Whoo wee Okay, day number two on the project. I'm trying to create a parking area. I can very well tell you that uh, we've got a drainage issue. I kind of knew that, but it did rain last night and now there's just a puddle. We don't love puddles. I'm thinking we gotta dig because there's a slope right down where the truck is. We gotta dig a trench up this way, up along this bank, and then try to get the water to flow out to the lake. Building buses was hard. Now being an excavator is hard. Is that even what you call it? Being an excavator, being a guy who runs an excavator? Stretch, 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 stretch. I finally got, you know, the water flowing. Unfortunately though, it's flowing into the road because there's nowhere for it to go from here to get down. I got the water to flow out, so that's great, but there's nowhere for it to go. So now it's just kind of using the road to go that way. Well, we got a ditch kind of mostly dug and the water is still very wet. It's gonna take definitely a bit more for this to dry out. Hopefully this works. Oakley. Hi.
Day three of operation build a parking pad for the buses. I think we're doing pretty good guys. It's definitely high and dry, a lot higher and drier. The water is definitely diverting and filling up all of the sides. So at this point, I'm really happy with up here. I think I can get in there and dig the drainage ditches a little bit deeper just so it flows a little better. Smooth this out, that should be good. The problem is the water right here that's coming from up there on the road. So my plan is to take the excavator and dig a ditch along this side right here up to that area so that the water flows down that side towards the lake. And then all the water from this parking area hopefully flows down this one down to the lake and then that will dry up this entrance area because this is not getting dry and I can see the water flowing right there which means it's not going to dry so I need to get this water somewhere else so that's the plan operation get it to the other side of the road Oakley you coming out of the truck today you gonna come ride in the excavator Oakley just sits on my lap while we're in the excavator and she just kind of rocks around takes a nap got to get her used to all the crazy adventures that we go on so I just bring her with me everywhere including in the excavator I'm actually pretty proud of this. I think I did, I think I did pretty decent. So we got this side kind of smoothed out, slightly graded down towards the ditch, uh, up where the excavator is, where the ditch ends, of course, and goes all the way down to there. So uh, now I just gotta pull the plug at the top, which is like right up there, and hopefully the water flows into here and out of the road, and it starts going that direction. That's the idea. Well, there it goes. Well, we released it, so the water's flowing now. And the hope is it goes all the way down there. I let the ground sit for about an hour, and it is, ooh, the lens is really dirty with mud. There we go. All the water's kind of drained out. I mean, there's still some residual sitting water, but this is just gonna have to dry out over time from the sun. So like all of this water you see here, it's not really like going anywhere. It's just kind of puddled at this point. It's not flowing anymore. All the water seems to be actually flowing this direction and then down into the drainage ditch. Uh, I'm gonna let this go for a few days and I'm gonna get back up here and try to get this pile kind of leveled and sorted. Well, today is officially the day. It's gonna rain in about four hours. It's been dry for about a week. We've let the land sit for a little bit and uh, it's time to get Navi up onto the parking spot and see if we can actually get it not to sink in. Only thing I gotta do is I just wanna fill the water tank quick just so that I don't have to worry about filling it and moving it within the next, you know, recent time. But besides that, see you when we get back out there. I probably should move some of this stuff too because it's just gonna go flying everywhere. I'm imagining this to be a very bumpy ride. parking pad. I drove my truck on it just before, which is kind of what gave me the motivation to possibly get the bus in. A Chevy 2500 is pretty close to the same weight of a school bus. So obviously if a truck can drive on it, a bus can. Yeah, my plan is, is to put Navi right about here up against this drainage ditch. So it's just gonna have to make that turn, come straight in, and then Navi will be parked here. I'm probably standing about where the nose is back here in the corner. Uh, so my plan is to throw down some of the wood that I just grabbed. Uh, try to get a little bit of like a I don't know, just some type of ground support because like I said, the truck did drive on it, but I really don't want the bus to sink too hard. And this whole section still is a bit soft. I can feel it. So I'm just gonna lay the wood probably about 10, 15 feet right here so that when the bus comes in, it just might take some of the weight. Worst case scenario, we take some big chains, we attach it to the front of the excavator and we just move the bus. That might be more fun to film, but I hope that doesn't have to happen. <laughs> That's gonna work as good as it's gonna work. We're just gonna send it. This isn't gonna go well. I'll take that as a win. 
The carnage wasn't that bad. That's almost exactly where I wanted it though. Perfect. Welcome home for the summer. This is this is probably the most I've been happy, excited, and smiled in, well, since last time I lived in the bus, which is like a few weeks ago. I gotta get some wood. Yeah, I gotta come up a few more feet. I gotta get some wood. Uh, get the front on some wood. Jack the back up. The back of the bus is about, needs to go up six inches and it needs to twist. So the bus is like this right now. We need to straighten it out. We're gonna fill in some dirt, level this out, throw some wood planks down, and then just back the bus up onto them. And hopefully that levels it out. And then it's just gonna be like, that's where it is for the summer. Done, parked. Oakley, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? You like, uh, like your new home? gonna get up it. That feels right. How's it look? Yeah! Woohoo! Oakley, we did it! Perfect. Done. Well, the bus is officially parked. We've got it leveled. I actually slept in it last night and I've gotten kind of somewhat of a little wood campground grill setup going with the bus. I gotta say, I am so happy to finally be back in the bus, even though I just left it maybe a month ago, but it's always a good feeling. So uh, super thrilled that this parking pad got made. Uh, thanks to everyone who helped out, my dad, some friends who stopped by that were off camera, but just in general, we're camping for the summer. Thanks Navi for putting up with all the craziness I put you through. And in the next video, we are officially back working on Ivan. See ya. <laughs>